Another Columbus firefighter has lost his battle with cancer. Ed Gibbons died on Friday, just one day after retiring. The firefighters union is calling cancer an epidemic within the department and says right now, 9% of Columbus firefighters are fighting the disease. NBC4's Katie Farrell is live downtown with more on Ed's fight with cancer and the ongoing battle here. Katie, just, just a sad story here. It really is, Mark. You know, Ed Gibbon spent his entire nearly 30 year career here at Fire Station 2. He, like so many of his fellow firefighters, expected to fight fires on the job, but never cancer. Ladder 2 takes off again. Ed was a uh, quiet man. This time without veteran firefighter Ed Gibbons. Kind of made him more respected on the fire department because when you're quiet and you actually have something to say, people listen to what you're going to say. Gibbons died Friday after a short battle with colon cancer. These black stripes are for him. He and fellow firefighter Ryan Sweetman worked together for years. I don't think it's fully set in yet. I don't think anybody's got their, got a full grasp of what's really happened. The firefighters union says Columbus firefighters are being diagnosed with occupational cancer at an alarming rate. Right now, more than 135 firefighters have a form of the disease. Firefighter Jesse Williams is a cancer survivor. Do you believe you got prostate cancer because of your job? I, I do believe it contributed to it. Union Vice President John Capretta says the links between being exposed to fire toxins and cancer are now proven. He says there's still work to be done, though, in supporting patients and their families. We show up to your house on the worst day of your life. And uh, when our guys are diagnosed with cancer, it's the worst day of their life. And we want, their, we want the city and the citizens back. Fire Chief Kevin O'Connor says he will continue to work with the city and citizens to make the department the safest it can be. This time, it's a few of them who need saving. Unfortunately, we lost Ed to a disease that's claiming too many firefighters, both in the disease process and in the death. It's just um, wrong. The fire chief says Gibbons filed a claim before he died under the Ohio Firefighter Cancer Presumption Law, which was just passed last year. Once approved, it would allow his family, presumably, to receive workers' compensation benefits under the assumption that he died because he developed cancer on the job. Local for you in Columbus, Katie Farrell, NBC4. All right, Katie, thank you. NBC4 has been following the stories of Columbus firefighters fight, fighting cancer in our series called The Fighting 126. You can watch all our stories on our website, NBC4I.com. Just search Fighting 126.